So we just uh, completed, literally 10 minutes ago, a very important milestone here on the Nexo 2 project. We have completed successfully the DPR section pressure test, the high pressure section. So we had our very nice uh, carbon fiber wrapped uh, lightweight tank, filled it up with water, and we mounted the DPR Christmas tree, the distribution manifold, and a couple of other valves, and finally a few plugs. So then we uh, used a special tool we have here in the workshop and then we started increasing pressure. Now we expect to have around 300 bars of helium in that tank when we launch. So we need to pressure test it for an additional safety factor of around 1.5 just to make sure that we can we can count on the engine not uh, sorry on the uh, tank not blowing up on us when we're at uh, the launch pad. So filling it up with water, it means that, uh, and pressurizing it with water, means that if the tank should rupture, it will spill water. It will make a, a, a loud bang and spill some water, but it won't send uh, parts flying around and pressure waves, etc., as would have happened if we had pressurized it with, uh, with atmospheric air. So always pressurizing with water. Now, in this case, uh, as we expected, the tank held up uh, just nicely to 400 and 40 bar or something, which means that we can confidently fill it up to around 300 bars and just walk around it right next to it. Uh, a, little, a little fun fact was that we, uh, we actually measured the uh, diameter of the tank. Now, uh, Brown tells me that about half a liter of water disappeared into the tank while they were pressurizing it. Yeah. So something definitely expands and they, uh, they did a measurement and apparently that, uh, that carbon fiber tank swelled by 0.7 millimeters. So there is definitely some deformation, but we have uh, ample room in the DPR section. So no issues there. But quite interesting that it actually grows quite a bit when we pressurize it. Now, about two weeks ago, we did the first preliminary pressure test of the DPR uh, system, and we pressurized uh, the, uh, the distribution manifold in the DPR section, which uh, distributes uh, high-pressure helium to our two proportional valves, which govern the pressure in the fuel tank and in the dock tank. During those tests, um, we saw water dripping. And it's simply up to the fact that, uh, that one of the salt rings uh, we did in that uh, DPR Christmas tree, one of them weren't completely proper. So there was a tiny leak somewhere and, and water came out. So uh, there's not much to do, but thankfully uh, the soldering is fairly, uh, fairly easy to work with. So it's a matter of, of, of heating the piece up again, uh, add some additional uh, flux cleaning material, and then add some more silver. And this time we got it right. It's no longer leaking.
So uh, this is more or less the starting point of the rest of the operation on the Nexo 2 before we, we can launch it. Um, currently, we are uh, we just completed the DPR section uh, pressure test, and we're also doing the uh, calibration of our uh, capacitive LUX level sensor today. Both of these two components need to be inserted into the rocket, uh, which is completely dismantled at the moment, before we can start the, start the final assembly of the rocket. Um, the fuel Christmas tree, which is sitting right up here, uh, has a form factor where we can actually uh, extract the entire Christmas tree, th tree through the side hatches without having to, to dismantle anything else. Uh, now that we have added the capacitive dipstick to the Christmas tree down at the dock's end, it means that we have an additional rod extending into the tank. And that form factor means that we can't pull the, uh, the uh, LOX Christmas tree out of, of the, uh, of the LOX tank uh, without having to dismantle something. And in this case, it is that we simply have to, to dismantle the rocket in between the fuel tank and the LOX tank. So we're just going to do this uh, LOX level calibration now, and then we're going to insert and mount the, uh, the LOX Christmas tree for uh, the final uh, time. After that, we'll be putting the whole rocket together. We all already have a bunch of, uh, of parts uh, already locks cleaned, so they're ready for installation. So from here on, we shouldn't be taking the rocket uh, apart again. It should, it should come together now and, uh, uh, and get ready for a, a co-full test in roughly two weeks.